And welcome to Lions on Design. I'm Debbie Lyons here today with Kelly Hubbard from Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath. And we're talking about uh, something near and dear to his heart. We're going to talk about a renovation today. He took a house next door to his old house that you said you knew the integrity of, knew the bones of, and you decided to modernize us. Right. Modernize us. Well, that would help too, but modernize it. Tell us a little bit, if you will, about what you did. Well, it was pretty much a, a, a full-blown interior renovation to modernize the house okay. and bring it up to the, the, the new standards and appointments of today. It was a house built in the early 80s, so you it, did. It, it looked like the early 80s when we started on it. What was your goal? What, what inspired you to go ahead and take a house, an old house like this, and do it? Well, I love to flip houses, and uh, I haven't been able to do that for quite some time since the bubble bust, you know, back in the good old days when you could buy things and sell it and move on, move but on, uh, yeah. now that's kind of come back around and as you said this house was next door so we kind of knew the bones, knew the situation with the house okay. and the history, knew the buyer, knew what we needed to do and he wanted to get out of the house which was the most important thing. Let me, let me ask you about, we're going to do a lot, we're going to take a look at some of the beautiful things that you've done, the exterior things, but when you were flipping this house were there some um, things of integrity that you had to look at as far as changing out first things that probably yeah, for that, me as yeah. a designer I wouldn't really notice but you as a renovator with Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath I mean it's stuff that you would notice uh you talking about bones infrastructure or the aesthetic part of the house I'm talking right now about the bones what about pipes what about well things yeah like we that? first and foremost we swapped out all the the plumbing and changed the polybutylene out the house had the old polybutylene with the plastic fittings which as you know my feeling and Mike's feeling on that wow. is it's a ticking time bomb and you can't sell a house today you know if if you have polybutylene plumbing that's just a huge negative so we had all of that changed out during the renovation okay so we have all new updated modern plumbing what about things like walls did you have to take down walls what about structurally no structurally we didn't take any walls down we didn't even take any non-structural walls out really I mean, the house was really really set up nice it was built in the 80s by a pretty well-known builder on the okay. island he built it for himself to live in and everything we pulled apart and went into, we all just went, wow, this house was really, really built well. And, you know, the floor plan, the flow, and the layout was fine. It just needed new colors, new floors, new tiles, so new, new cabinets, yep. and countertops and appliances. You know, all the typical things we all face with our 30-year-old house. <laughs> exactly. I get it. We've got some pictures of the house before that we're going to kind of flip in and out. Here we'll show a picture of the, of the old kitchen and then talk you through what you did, how you worked your magic here. Because okay. it is, I love this kitchen. I could live in it, actually. It's fabulous. It's a all great right. house. Talk me through what you all did here because it's pretty impressive. Well, uh, the layout is basically the same as it was, but we pulled everything out of here and gutted it and put in the new modern white shaker cabinets, granite countertops. Well, let me um, let me let me stop and go slowly with the, the granite or with the uh, shaker counter shaker cabinets granite countertops. Yeah, I'm looking are, for those shaker uh, countertops. Uh, are you doing a lot with the white? Because I still, yes. from a design point of view, lots yes. of white. It's timeless, which whenever I'm doing anything for myself or guiding someone who's indecisive or needs direction. I try to get them to go towards the timeless things, which means it's going to be in style. Uh, Forever. Indefinitely. Well, and, uh, right, not fatty. Exactly. But you funkied it up, and I, you know how I think yeah. you funkied it up? Handles. Yeah. And I really want you to look at the island, because you did my favorite, favorite thing. You took a very modern cabinet mm -hmm. and blended it with a very well, simple cabinet. that's one cabinet. of the things I like about the Shaker style. One of many things is, mm -hmm. you know, it's a 150-year-old door style, but you can put an antique piece of furniture against it, or you can put a very modern piece of furniture. And like you said, the island is very modern. I love it. I just think it's it really flows well. You know, this house is very... Um, user friendly. I think the flow is pretty it, phenomenal. Yeah, Can is. we talk a little bit about the backsplash cuz I love this. The glass? Yeah. That's that's a you know obviously a horizontal pattern glass tile. Okay. Uh fit very well with the countertop choice with white cabinets. That's another mm -hmm. plus you have is you can really go crazy with your other appointments, countertops, floors. Uh, whereas you, if you get a real exotic looking or a rich door, you got to kind of be subtle on everything else or it gets a little busy, a little crazy looking. 
I tell you, the color trends right now you can really see, and you've done a really nice job of pulling them out. This rain washed color that you've used in here, I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, the paint color. Mm -hmm. and, and as we're kind of looking here, and I know we're going to walk in here in just a second, talk to me about the floors because the, the floors are pretty amazing. And they're, again, they look very classic mm -hmm. to me. Um, they're they're hand scraped hardwood engineered floor glue down which is what I recommend in all the houses here is a engineered floor preferably uh, they just stand up to the heat humidities changes that we face in this part of the, the country what I want to do is walk into the living room look at this living room dining okay. room combination loving this um, entryway into this fabulous great room dining room combination i have to say before and i forgot to do this i know susan is is our color girl and she did some beautiful selections of these colors and they're very like you said they're very timeless mm -hmm. but they're also very trendy they're they mm -hmm. really are with with a lot of the neutrals now um, we're shifting from the khaki yellows khaki into more of the gray blues, the gray greens, and to me in different lights, they you think? I, yeah, still, yeah, you'll think. The, and to me, they really change color depending on the way the light comes in. Yeah. What I love about this particular house is as I walked in, I was wowed by what you did with the fireplace. Absolutely, the, you know, come in the front door, the big wow factor, the big pop, you know, this, this room has obviously got some very nice vaulted high ceilings. The, you know, and even though we talk about uh, updating and yes. modern, it had a pretty modern fireplace. All we did was change the colors. Did you really put new surrounds? We did, yeah. The tile is all new, okay. the paint's new, but this, this floating ledge was okay. already there. And I think the whole point of doing some of this is to show you, A, what a great job Kelly and Susan do at Hilton Head Kitchen Bath, of course, but also to show you what you can really do with renovations with a little bit of imagination mm -hmm. and a can of paint. Does that sound familiar for yeah, you and I? Yeah, I love to tear walls out. You know me, but you uh, don't have to do that. Exactly. And, and you, that yeah, costs a lot more money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, demolition is your middle name, right? One of the other things that was kind of innovative about this is you made use of a lot of the spaces here that I think a lot of people would be confused by. And there is... Is, um, space for cabinetry here that you've done beautiful shelving in right. but you also did what you're calling a charging station which I think we all want our business centers now what was your thought process for that well that was a wet bar and wet bars in the living room are just so not necessary people don't use ago. them and most right. of the time our clients have us take them out okay. and do something else with them uh, so again we didn't want to tear walls out and make that all into some grand expensive space space in a part of the house so mm -hmm. uh, Susan came up with the idea of making it a charging station because you know we all have tons of electronics yes, now and you got to set them somewhere and exactly. that gives somebody the, uh, the option to sit down with their laptop or their notebook uh -huh. and do a little work and did you have to do anything to the ceilings were they popcorn or we were just they scraped all? all the popcorn okay. off the house all right. but the ceilings were all trayed and vaulted just like they are let's walk back to the um, uh, master bath because sure. you did some really okay. pretty creative things there let's go this way this is such a fun and fabulous master bedroom this is three bedroom home mm -hmm. the master you really didn't have to knock any walls out and you we just didn't even came... take the soffits out which you know typically you always do that but I love work. them they it work. looks great what did you all do here because you changed it up though uh, a little bit I mean, you know, it was the it was the, the the cabinet room here obviously with two vanities but we added in the knee space and changed the the, uh, configuration. Yeah, the, look and the configuration of the cabinets. What is this? Because I is really Diane like Diane Real it. marble, and mm -hmm. we actually owned this slab, a remnant. Okay. And so we, instead of saying we want a knee space here, we said we've got this beautiful marble. We we need to use a How knee space make to it? make the marble work because we it. didn't have enough to do a full level piece. And you know, knee spaces are still in style. It looks great. A lot of women still like them. I love it. I, I like sitting down to put my makeup on. The other thing, again, that you've done really successfully, and uh, of course it's your your renovation king, but is to integrate these very classic mm -hmm. pieces a lot with the modern touches, and I really love it. This is the, the, I tell you what, he's been waiting to do this piece for the entire show. This is this is your pride and joy. This is a pretty fun little explanation of what you did in here. Well, yeah, you've got this great, beautiful tub, 
Mm -hmm. It's it's large, it's solid, it's jetted, it worked, it didn't leak, but it looked like crap. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, can I say that? Ooh, you can uh, say that on TV? Uh -huh. So instead of ripping that out and spending another $2,000 on a tub and plumbing, we chose to utilize this old crazy marble by putting some travertine tiles around it and drawing it in and making it work. It looks great. And the funny part is it's all about layering in today's world of design. Mm -hmm. And to me, what I thought when I came in, I thought you had just layered out all of these textures. You thought the tub was new. I did, I really did. It's really fantastic. I'll tell you, it's always a treat to have you. You give us some great ideas. Thanks. And um, the home itself is wonderful. So we appreciate your time, we appreciate your time, and we will see you all later here on Lines on Design.